So I want you to imagine that it's one o'clock in the morning and you wake up and obviously it's been dark all day and all night because here in Iceland on the island of Jaime where we are, it would be super dark and you see this glowing on the horizon and this booming sound. There's an eruption going on. They had little warning because here at that time in 1973, 50 years ago, they didn't have that much seismometer equipment. So it really took them by surprise. What happened is this, this giant fissure just opened up in the earth. These fire fountains came up about 30 meters high, spewing out this, this lovely basaltic magma here that you've got up into the atmosphere. And we're now standing on a brand new volcano and it's called Eldfell. Luckily, they had some warning, so they started to set up a system of pumps onto this lava flow to try and cool it so it would solidify and stop flowing into their harbour. They knew that this was coming, they could see it and they could evacuate. So actually no one died. So the damage wasn't human life, it was economic. They lost about a third of the properties on this very small island. But the community all came together and they got everyone evacuated. And it's also added some new land. Now I know this land at the moment isn't very useful, but over time this will become new farmland and, and possibly new, new homes as well. Deep down within this, underneath where the magma chamber is, there is still heat and they've actually pumped water down and they now have geothermal power to the whole of the island as a result of the volcanic activity. And many have benefited from the tourism industry that's popped up, the safer harbour and the geothermal power.